good. Hello? Okay, I think- okay, I don't know what happened, but fucking OBS rose and restarted again. It keeps happening lately and I don't know why. Anyway, tell Mac to come back. Because <laughs> I, I fear this will, like, actually break their streak. Uh... So... Yeah. If anyone can tell Mac to come back. Okay. That's right, bitch, you better run. Not the library. Is it back? No matter how many times I refresh, it's not loading. Uh, I mean, it's supposed to be working. It should be back. This is strange. I don't think it counts as a new stream. I mean, I don't know. Can you move out the way? Thank you. Just to be sure, I feel like... I don't know how much longer you'll be playing today, but I just got back from field work. Oh my god, hey! Hi, Lid! How you doing? Uh, I'm still gonna be playing for a while, probably. Like, an hour. Oh god. My whole stream restarted, so I don't know. Okay, so it's not the classroom, it's... And how you doing, Lid? Move out the way! Oh my god, you fucking bitch! Beat for real. Are we made- uh, what? Okay, no, this is not here. It's not here? Oh my god! Okay, I guess I'll die. This is Murphy's Law. No, but it's so because it, it supposedly started a new stream. It's so like it doesn't um, reset their streak, you know? So they come back just to get their streak again. But I don't know. Oh, okay, so there's someone's bedroom. This is not the, s the candle. Are you sure?
Well, I never found this? Wait, what does it do? Boost attack. Jesus, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm that, that's what I'm saying, because stream elements is like, uh welcome to the stream or whatever. Right? This is the one, I think. Yes. A craftonomy book. Okay. This one is about the study of craft, not your fortune. About a, a, a book about the study of craft? Could it have any information about timecraft, maybe? Does that craftonomy book have anything on timecraft? Timecraft? What for? It is related to our situation, isn't it? With the king? We don't have time. What's timecraft? I don't know what that is. Should we have a crash course on timecraft then? Ugh, fine. Odile flips through the book. It does have a section on timecraft. Alright. So, new song. Timecraft is, as the name implies, the power to wield and craft time itself. It's a type of craft that's been hypothesized to exist for decades, but its existence has never been proven. Until now, right? Stopping time. That's what the king does, right? So the king is using timecraft? The king most likely is, yes. Which could make it the first time in history someone managed to harvest that power. Harness or harvest? Harvest that power? Uh, okay. Outside of stories told in family tales, that is. I've heard scholars outside of Vogard are really excited right now. Timecraft confirmed to be real. So they're happy because he froze people in time? I would say harness. What did they say? I, she said harvest. That's why I was confused, because I feel like harness would sound more right, but I don't know. Well, it's more complicated than that. Morals aside, it does change everything he, we knew about Timecraft. Think about how Timecraft could be used. The king is only stopping people's time. But it could be used for many other things. It could be used to ha hasten or slow people's time too. Make Maybe make people's bodies younger or older. Maybe make buds grow into trees in an instant. Worst case scenario, it could be used to change history itself. Crafting time to go back in time and change history. Whoa! Whoa. The possibilities are endless. And terrifying. Definitely not the kind of power you want in someone's hands. And definitely not someone like the king. And correct me if I'm wrong, but crafting time wouldn't be like crafting clay to a specific shape or crafting a sword. Those are easy enough to do and won't tire you out, but crafting time? Something as basic as, in as in an essential as time wouldn't ask for immense amounts of power? Exactly. Crafting clay barely asked for any power from the user, but crafting time. It was theorized that crafting time, even to pause time for a single second, would probably kill the user immediately. Cool. Five told me to come back, so here I am. Welcome back, Mag! <laughs> huh? Kill them dead? Kill them dead. And yet, the king is still alive. So it raises the question, what gave him enough power to use Timecraft without dying? And how did he learn how to use it? Good question, Isabeau. You have pretty smart insights sometimes. I sure do! Timecraft is what the king uses and it's dangerous. Got it. I suppose talking about this was useful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm surprised you're curious about this though, Sifrin. You shrug? Timecraft, a type of craft that allows the user to control time. Isn't that what you and the king have been using? But neither of you should be able to use it. Using it would ask for immense amounts of power. So then, what gave you this power? Maybe you should ask the king about this. But what if it isn't enough? What if he doesn't want to tell you anything about timecraft? You've talked to the king and the head housemaiden. Are those really the only two people that would know anything about the loops you're stuck in? Who else could you talk to about the loops? To theorize. Oh, wait. There is one person. Fucking loop. It 
Is there not a... Or is there a tear? Sif... Did something happen? What? What do you mean? Did you drink a special tonic or something? You seem, well... So graceful, right? I knew I wasn't imagining it! You're walking in a cool way, like a dancer or something. You usually feel like a tiny fennec fox, but you feel more like a panther right now. And the way you defeated the last few sadnesses we've seen, that was... Impressive. Whoa! It's time to get serious, you know. It's time to get serious. I will show the king my true power. I will show them all. And then, no one will ever make fun of me again for being barely taller than a preteen. I'm the same height as you, Mira. Oh. Mirabelle looks at your heeled shoes, then at her flat boots. Is that so? Ha! <laughs> Youch. Yeah, Bale! Hit him where it hurts! This isn't even my final form. Youch. Are you really moving differently, though? Faster, more silently? Come to think of it. Your family members do feel slower to you now. Clumsier. How long have you been in there compared to them? I guess the- Oh, fuck off. Let me out of here. You and your family members escape. Who do I talk to about this loop? Fucking loop! Wait, I should save. Loop! Fruit loop! Hey, Isa. Love you, bro. You're beginning to think he never will. You look at his hand coming closer, closer. As expected, his hand stops above your shoulder. That was funny. God damn it. Hey, man. So, got any theories about the loops I'm trapped in? Why would I? Your name is literally Loop. Oh, stars above it is. Tee hee. Ugh. But just because I'm calling myself Loop doesn't mean I know anything. I'm just bad at names. But I'll see what I can do. What's your question? Do you know anything that could help? Such a broad question, Stardust. As I've told you before, I know as much as you do right now. How can that be? What do you mean? Aren't you here to help me? Why don't you know more about the loops you're supposed to help me with? Tee- Don't you fucking tee me. Aw. I still don't have a good answer for you, Stardust. Isn't it already nice that you have me to talk about those loops? You could be alone, stuck with only your tiny brain for company, with no one to talk to. Okay, okay, okay. Well... Why don't we summarize what we know about those loops? We might find something out. You sigh and nod. Nothing better to do, you suppose. So, you're currently stuck in a time loop for unknown reason. The loop starts when you wake up in Dormon and seems to end when you talk to the head house maiden. Unless I die first or touch a tear. Yes, maybe the loop considers getting frozen in time by those tears a sort of death? But why aren't you looping back when you get frozen in battle? Huh? Isn't it because... I thought the tears worked differently than an actual time freeze skill. Is that so? Well, you're the one getting frozen, so you'd know. So, you loop if something keeps you from advancing in some way. I wonder if other things would count as keeping you from advancing. Like what? Like, what if we cut off your legs? Would you immediately loop back? You can't advance if you have no legs, right? Um, 
I'd rather not test that one. Oh, but understandable. But it, it is interesting, though. What makes the loop actually loop? Maybe. Does the loop consider talking to the head housemaiden? Something that keeps you from adv advancing somehow. Maybe, but... What would advancing even mean, then? Towards what, go what goal? Is there something that happens when you talk to the head housemaiden that makes a certain goal impossible to accomplish? What if I don't talk to her? As you found out, all of this might be the work of Timecraft, a power that should be impossible to use. <laughs> no! But you and the king are somehow able to manipulate it. But am I manipulating Timecraft if I can't control it? But you can, can't you? You can more or less control where you, where you come back. Except when you talk to the head housemaiden, it seems, which brings you back to the start. But just being able to loop back in time and avoid death might count as you being able to use Timecraft. But if Timecraft is supposed to be too dangerous to even use... Kill her now! Yeah, exactly. How did I get that power? And how can you break the loop for good? Yes, yeah, those are the big questions, aren't they? I do wonder about the limitations of your powers still. What makes you actually loop? Somehow I feel like finding out more about that that would be useful. What makes me loop? Stardust, we've been talking for a while, so maybe not right now, but when you have some time, will you hang out with me for a bit? Huh? Hang out? I have a theory I'd like to test, and and we haven't spent any time together, Stardust. I'm lonely. I want to have a long conversation with someone, anyone. I want to hang out. Ugh. Again, it doesn't have to be right now. Our little hangout time might last a while, maybe even longer than the rest of the day. I'm sure you have plans for this loop, so I can't wait until you have time. Okay. A theory loop would like to. A theory loop would like to test about the loops. Might be useful. You should talk to Loop and hang out with them when you have time. Yay! I'll be waiting, Stardust. In the meantime, how can I help you on this wonderful journey? So they want me to find out how to... Like... What makes the, the, the time loop happen. But I don't really have anything else I want to do right now, so we can hang out. Oh! Our theory hangout! Yes! But we can't actually hang out right now, I'd be, it'd be pretty useless. So how about you come back here early tomorrow after you're done acting things out at the clock tower? Wait, you want me to sneak out? And spend a loop with me, yes! But you always go to the house after the clock tower. If you're not here, what will everyone do? What will everyone think? Does it matter what they think? They'll forget it all in your next loop after all. It matters. Hmm, so you won't do it? You won't come hang out with little old me? I'll come. Neat! I'll see you soon then. You nod. You spend the rest of the night with everyone. Early in the morning, while everyone is still asleep, you quietly slip away and head to the favorite tree. What are we doing? What are we doing? But you can't see Loop anywhere. Up there, Stardust! Up there! Up there? Did Loop go back to their home or something? You look up. Loop is waving at you from the top of the tree. I'm here, I'm here! Come and join me, Stardust! How? Oh, come on! Just climb the tree! I know you can do it! You sigh and climb the tree. Ah, isn't it pretty, Stardust? We're so high up! You are. You can see the house from there. Everyone will be inside the house soon. You try not to think about it. Thank you for coming to today's loop hangout! If you hang out with me, it'll take some time, and... Well, you know how this goes. I sure do. I, um... I haven't actually prepared anything to talk about. So, tell me about yourself, Stardust. Really? I'd rather not. Huh? Why not? Don't you already know me? Hmm? It just feels like it. You know too much about me. You knew my name, you know how I think. You knew me before I, we even met, didn't you? Kind of. Kind of? Do I know you? Oh! No, you don't know me, teehee. <laughs> don't worry, your memory isn't failing you this time. When we met under the favor tree, that was... That was the very first time we've seen each other. Is that so? So then... Is that why you're helping me? Because you know me? Oh. Not really. When, when, when I decided to help you, you were not a factor in the slightest. You are now, I suppose, but does that mean you actually believe me? If I, if I say I'm here to help? 
You don't think I'm lying and I'm actually the one trapping you here or whatever. You really believe that I'm here to help you? I mean... I don't know. I guess I do. Oh. Fool! You always surprise me, Stardust. I know you wouldn't. I wouldn't believe myself if I was in your place. Maybe time has made me more jaded than you are. But it's fine. Whether you believe me or not, I'm here to help you. When you say it that way, he's sus. Sus! So you can, so you can escape this loop. So you believe it's possible? For me to escape? Of course! Why would I be here otherwise? I'm trapped here with you, after all. Sus! I want to escape just as much as you do. I know how it feels, you know. To be stuck somewhere, with no hope of escape. Forced to, relieve, to relive the exact same events over and over. Taking any devi 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 deviation, deviation as a sign that things are finally going to change. That everything will be okay. And finding yourself trapped still. Ha ha ha. Look at me talking and talking. Don't pay attention to me. I'm doing fine. Luke laughs sadly and look at the, looks at the house in the distance. Tell me about yourself, Loop. I'd rather not. Tee hee. Loop, Loop winks, and, winks and blows you a kiss. It's such a wor like difficult word to integrate in speaking in like sentence. Loop winks and blows you a kiss. Despite yourself, you laugh. You hear Loop laugh so- so- Dude! You hear Loop laugh softly as well. Ha ha ha. Say, Stardust, that reminds me. I can't believe your first death was being crushed by the very first trap. How bear how embarrassing. Hey, you and Loop a anima animatedly talk about the different things you've done during your loops. It's nice to be able to talk about them with someone. You talk and talk until the sun has ri risen, risen ri high above you in the sky. Ah, it'll happen soon now. What will? The theory crafting part of our hangout session, of course. You open your mouth to ask and then... You heard a horrible sound. Your head. You saw... something. I'm glad you decided to spend some time with me, Stardust. Sorry it's going to end with this. What? I thought maybe it wouldn't happen, but... See that light in the distance? It's from the king's floor. I see it every time you get far enough to fight him. His first attack. The king's... first attack? How long have you been talking to Loop? Who was the king attacking? Who was he? The king doesn't attack or do anything until you get to him. He would only attack if... If someone... I can feel it every time. Whatever he does, it makes you th see something, doesn't it? Something awful. Something so terrible that it's enough to bring anyone close enough to their knees. No, 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 that's not what happened. Um, not enough time has passed. I feel like... Oh. No, it's not night. It's like the sun has a horizon, so they're going... Wait, I don't know. I wonder who he attacked. Your friends. Oh, I guess you're right. They were against the king just now. You know how to survive his first attack, you found out, but... But... You hear someone cry out. You look at Loop. Loop is just looking at you, not saying anything. There's no pity in their gaze, no sadness, just some slight impatience like, Did you figure it out yet? Did you figure it out what made the king attack just now? There's only one answer, Stardust. Just figure it out already so we can move on. Who was the king fighting? Who did the king just kill? Did you figure it out yet? Did you? 
He starts screaming. Bro, what? They died because you weren't there. They're gone because you weren't there. You clutch your head, your hair, your stomach. Because you weren't there. Because of you, they're gone. They're gone <clears throat> because of you. Of you, because of you, because of you, because of you. You stumble and fall to your knees. That's fucking terrifying. You breathe harshly in and out. It's not working. You can't take a full breath. You can't hit the ground with your fist. Why? Luke does not answer. Did you know this would happen? Which part? You looping back or your party dying? I had a suspicion about the former. I was certain about the latter. You- Loop is looking straight at you. They don't even seem to care that you drew out your dagger. Somehow this calms you down. If I tell you to breathe, will you? You- You breathe slowly in and out. What was that for? For funsies, of course. You take a step forward. And because I was curious to know how the loops work, aren't you? How the loops work? How could- Kill him! Kill him! Kill him now! How could what just happened teach you anything about the loops? Think, Stardust. Why did you loop back just now? Because I didn't die. But the others did. So why did I loop back? Huh? Because the king won, isn't it? Why would the king winning make you loop? You don't immediately loop back the second you and your party lose, don't you? Bro, what the fuck are they talking about? I'm so confused. Don't you? I kinda do, though. No, Stardust. You loop when you die. No, it takes a little bit. You loop when you die, Stardust. The fact that the king wins is irrelevant. But you didn't die just now, did you? So why did you loop? But... It's the same with the head housemaiden. You don't die when you talk to her, so what makes you loop? You loop when the head housemaiden talks to you, and you loop just now. Mm. Why? Don't you think this would be important to figure out? I loop when I have a mental breakdown. Loop's right. There have been other times you loop back without dying, too. Yes! Yes! There was that one time where I scared everyone. I tried- I was killing a sadness and everyone was scared of me because I was terrifying. And- and- and then I looped back. What do you mean? What could be the reason? I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to spend time with you. We never got the opportunity to really talk after all. But... Yes, I figured this would happen. I- I won't say sorry so we can stop waiting for it. Strong emotions? But th still, the head housemaiden seems to know wh that it's gonna happen, though. Uh, huh. You don't answer. Looks like that's all you can find out about the loops for now. But you can still find out more about the king, can't you? I'll be ready to help you out next loop. But for now, I think we both need some time. Come back next loop, Stardust. You just walk away. Bro. D okay. You've had some strong emotions that didn't make you loop, I guess. Yeah, that also. Okay, I'm kind of don't. I kind of don't know what to do now. Um. Let me think. Do I go to the king again? What what do I do? Can you give me a hint, bro? Cuz I don't know. I have like a half hour. Lou has kind of a checklist of things. Okay, let me go. I guess they said they Let me talk to Loop again. You don't want to talk to Loop right now. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Um...
I don't think there's anything else I can do but go back to the king. One thing I could do. chat with certain villagers a bit more. Okay. Hmm. The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. You're one of my saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. And you traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... Odile. Yes, Odile! She's from Cabwe, yes? My sister visited Cabwe once. Did you know they call most people by their last names? Such a different culture. And this Odile, I can tell. She's like the mom of the group, isn't she? Huh? Something feels weird. When you asked her about Isabeau, didn't she tell you she was an only child? But this loop, she says she has a sister? I did not remember that. Aren't you an only child? What? No, I have a sister. She's a few years younger than me. A few years ago, she decided to travel the world all on her own. She lives in another country now. Isn't that so brave? Living in a foreign country just like that? You want to ask her more, but she's already back to her daydream. Oh, God. What do you mean? What? The people have, like, different lore. And fishing. You look like someone who like fishing. But maybe this time I can catch? Yes. Find the same lure you used before. Check the fishing pole. Throw it and sit down and wait. Fishing time. You didn't catch anything. How did you manage to mess it up a second time? You don't think she managed to talk to Mirabelle last time? Mirabelle would have mentioned it. You could go and tell Mirabelle yourself. Tell her. This one I've never been able to open.
Thank you for teaching me. Oh, you're so sweet. It's no problem at all, sweetie. What's wrong? You look really pale. Oh my god. Protection spell. It's you and your family members. It's me and my friends. You're learning that physical things fade too. God, God damn it. Okay, I'm just like... I think I talked to everybody. Um... Okay, I need to take some notes real quick. Because I feel like, I don't know what is going to happen now, but I feel like towards the end of the game, I'm going to have to do like one final big like run through of the dungeon, I guess. Starting by Dormont, and I need to get all of the things. So it's like, get the long thingy thing. Give the flower. I mean, I don't know if this is useful in any way, but... <laughs> My face. Your forehead's bulging out as you're writing notes. Yeah, I'm fucking big brain. Uh, I'm guessing, like, I don't know, get the drawing. 
and you know, help everyone. I'm gonna, probably gonna have to do this again. This is just my thoughts. Um, um, and I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, you can check souvenirs in your pocket. Sometimes there's some dialogue there. What? <clears throat> you look at the four-pointed leaf. Its shape reminds you of something. You look up. You only see clouds. I mean, I'm inside, so not really. You look at the thingy thing. If you had a short gizmo gadget and a secret ingredient, you might be able to make a bomb. Okay. It's a flower. Nothing special about it. It's a- wait, that's it? Oh, I can just look at it, okay. Okay. Maybe the shopkeeper? I, I still don't remember. I don't remember if I talked to the shopkeeper. Forgot where the shopkeeper is. getting stressed out for nothing. Oh, why would I say that? Didn't the shopkeeper know about that one locked room? Maybe they know about other secret hidden rooms around the house. Nothing else to do but explore. Know of any hidden rooms in the house? Hmm, hidden rooms, hidden rooms. Oh, it's not really hidden, but you might see a bunch of holes in walls and rubble around them too. Honestly, we've been trying to fix those. Some are water damage, some are accident, and some are a uh, Scientific explosions, but I have heard of those holes actually lead. One of those holes actually leads to some old blocked-off hallway. Hmm. You should keep a lookout for holes in walls and rubble. You suppose? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew there was something about the holes in the walls. Time to go back. You broke your head open on a rock. Ten. It's fucking rude. Time to uh, time to try and find some holes in the walls. No holes here. That was me again. No holes here. Nope. I think it's probably starting the second floor. I don't remember seeing any holes on the first one, but that's okay. You purposefully trip on a small rock. <laughs> Whoa, you okay, Sif? You give a thumbs up. You're clumsy and not at all threatening and overpowered compared to them. <laughs> I see. Nope, no holes.
Oh, oh. Was there one in the sword room? There's one here. This one doesn't work. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's not this floor. Fifty loops! The big five-o. -oh. You could do some math to figure out how many days, weeks, months you've been stuck here. You don't always spend very long in a single loop. But sometimes you do spend more than 20 hours in there. 24 hours. So doing the math would be easy enough. But you won't. Because you're smart. You can guess what it would do to your brain. Back to it. <laughs> Back to the game. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. This one? Can you please move out the way? Thank you. Thank you so much, Chain. See you later. Bon appetit. <laughs> okay, so it's not floor two either. God damn it. Okay. It's fucking...
Oh, bro. Oh my god. Really? There's holes on the sides! Oh my god, be for real! <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. You don't really need to go. We sit on the throne and think about nothing. You hear voices outside the bathroom. Listen in or stay here to make time go faster. Go and listen. You stand next to the bathroom door and listen. Belle. Yes? Can I have a hug? Oh, I'm sorry. I promise I won't hug you long. I just, um... Oh, sweetheart, come here. You scared the shit out of me. What did I do? Did I scream? Oh, Bonnie, you're doing such an amazing job helping us. You're so brave. It must be so scary for you. I'm really proud of you, you know. With you by our side, I'm sure we'll be able to save your sister soon. Hmm, I don't know. I do know. I'm the change god's chosen, after all. And so I know that everything will be fine. Okay? Okay. Can you stop squeezing my head so hard, though? Ah, sorry. You ex exit the bathroom. I'm sorry. Bro, have you found that hole in the wall they're talking about? Or am I crazy and am I am I doing all of that for nothing? I didn't even have that dialogue with the shopkeeper. <laughs> oh, oops. I'm on my own. Bonnie face, what about this wall? What does it smell like? Like a crabbing wall! Some of the stuff in this game is secondary and this seems to be one of them. I don't know what it does. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was important. Why am I doing this? Photos. Okay, I literally don't know. And since I found out that there are holes also in the sides that I can't see, then I'm not gonna redo all of this. So I'm just gonna go and fight the king, you know? Wait, no, that's not... That's not what I was... Ugh, god. You know... Why am I doing this? I totally... I don't have a choice. I have to fight.
keep forgetting this one doesn't do everybody. Hello. God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna fight the king one more time and see what happens and after that I'm gonna stop streaming. I can give him a flower? Wait, I can give him the flower? Why? <laughs> Why? I'm not gonna do that, but... Do it right now? 
Okay, I mean, I guess. What? Sifrin? Uh, Sif, I don't know how it works where you're from, but in Vogar, we only give flowers to people we, uh, actually like. I remember that you can give flowers to whoever you want as long as they're important. Friends, family, rivals, enemies. The king takes a step forward and gently takes the flower from your hand. Bright one, no matter how this battle ends, will you remember me? Yeah. Let us make this battle a moment truly worth remembering then. You're using timecraft? Timecraft? I suppose I am. But if you're using timecraft, how did you manage to control it? Timecraft should be immeasurable amounts of power that no mere human could have. I mean, it's definitely because he's not human. <laughs> so how? Ah, yes, it is true. I could not have harvested timecraft on my own. So, I had some help. Help? Who would? Oh. Isn't it obvious? The universe would. I only had to wish for it. And the universe delivered. The universe? Who is that? A person? No, it's, uh... Wow, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't seem to remember. It's what's beyond this plane, correct? What's in the sky? You clench your fists. The king sobs. I knew Vogardians were ignorant of it, but I did not think travelers from other countries were, too. How? How could you have... Vogardians, huh? Interesting choice of words. Are you not from Vogard yourself? He isn't, Madame Odile. I feel like I've seen an article about it somewhere recently. I saw it today. Where was it again? So you're not from Vogard, but you still want to freeze it in time? Where do you call home, then? He does not answer. You shake your head and breathe out. An article about the king somewhere. If Mirabelle remembers it, you might have seen somewhere too. Could it be somewhere on in the house? What? God, how the fuck would I know? An article about the king. I have to find an article about the king, but I don't know where, 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 where... I, I don't know where to find that. And it's in the house, but the house is so big and I've just... I just went through the, all of it! And I'm gonna run out of shit! I'm gonna run out of stuff to unlock all the doors! This is so infuriating sometimes, man! This is gonna take forever, dude.
Oh my god. Let it end. Well... This is so... Let's go again. Third time's the charm, isn't it? If you talk to the head housemaiden, will the loop break and will you loop back once more? forget though you have some snacks left oh um well wait i have some pineapple slices left i won't give them to you i'm super hungry that way i'll survive until i eat dinner i mean i can't eat them anyway Oh my god, Mirabelle! Fucking Mirabelle! Group hug? Pass. Of course you'll pass. You and friend never join group hugs. Ah, group hug, group hug, group hug! Sure, I guess it's time for a group hug. <laughs> Fucking Mirabelle. Next time it's Odile who's gonna interrupt. What did you have to- Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. It wasn't that important. Come on, go talk to everyone. I have some thinking to do. But Ziff, I'm glad this is over. Make sure to say how when you're here, you want, okay? God damn it. Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! Mirabelle, you fucking. Maybe you should start with something else still? Surprise her somehow? Will you repeat the same lines again? The same lines? What do you- Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, the- That don't work.
You almost choke on the smell of burnt sugar around you. I know. Do you have anything new to say? Bro, come on! Wait. Okay, I need to stop streaming, even though I really wanna. I really wanna keep going, but I have to stop because I'm tired. And. Yeah. Uh. So I wrote down that I need to find some article about the king in the house, but then, eh, but then I don't know where, um, and I'm tired of looking for things. <laughs> oh, where could it be? They were like somewhere in the house, but that doesn't help at all. I have to go through the entire house when I just did already. God damn it. And I'm, I'm also just gonna run out of, like, memories to spend so I can open all the doors, so... I, that means I have to fight monsters, I guess. Fucking goddamn it. Alright, uh, thank you so much, guys, for coming. I appreciate it. This was a fun time. Um, yeah. I love this game. I can't wait to see where it's going, because what the hell? I think you have a memory that lets you gain three times memories when you fight monsters. You can use that to farm every now and then. Okay, I forgot about that. Um, I guess I'll do that. <sighs> yum, 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 yum. Yeah, thank you guys. Let me just see who I can raid. Thank you. Good luck for tomorrow for everyone who's doing, like, work or something, or, you know, anything, really. Um... Oh, there's a lot of people online. Uh, okay. Joey's on with streaming, so we're gonna raid them. Alright, thank you guys again for coming. The raid is starting in a few seconds. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. On Wednesday I'm gonna play some more Genshin. And, uh, and then I'll come back to this game on Friday. Bye y'all!